So the first one, we look at volumetric apparatus. Now the word volumetric is derived from the word volume and volume, you know, is actually the capacity, the holding capacity of an object or a substance. Therefore, volumetric apparatus are those apparatus that are used for measuring volumes. So we define them as the apparatus used for measuring volumes. These are what we call volumetric apparatus. Now, volumetric apparatus sorry, include the following. They include measuring cylinder. So we have measuring cylinder, which is one of the volumetric apparatus used for measuring volume. We also have a burette. A burette can also be used to measure volume. We have a pipette, which is also used as a volumetric apparatus. And among this group, the last one we want to focus on is a volumetric flask, which is yet another apparatus used for measuring volume. Now, let's now look at these apparatus one by one, how they measure volumes, which apparatus are used for measuring approximate volumes, and which ones are used for measuring exact volumes. So let's look at this. So this is what we want to discuss. We want to look at the apparatus and how they are used to measure volume. So we begin by looking at measuring cylinder. They are used for measuring approximate volumes of liquids or solutions and they have different capacities so that uh, the measuring cylinders come in various capacities. We have a capacity of 10 ml, 20 ml, 50 ml and etc. So they are used on the basis of the volume they have to measure. They have different capacities and they measure, measuring cylinders may be used they may be made of glass or plastics. So they can either be of glass or plastic. Now why we choose glass or plastic as measuring cylinders and basically as apparatus used in the lab is that most of the glasses and plastics do not react to the chemicals used in the lab. That's one of the reasons. Another reason why we use plastics or glass apparatus in the lab is because most of these apparatus are easy to see through. They are transparent so that when a chemical reaction is taking place within them, you're able to observe the, uh, the make observations because they are transparent. Those are the two reasons as to why most of the apparatus are used for measuring, are used to, uh, are made of glass and plastic for that matter. So we are, we are done with the measuring cylinder. The next set is a burette and a burette is used for measuring accurate or exact volumes or solutions in chemical analysis. However, a burette is used to measure small volumes, small volumes that are meant for chemical analysis. A good example of a chemical analysis is a titration, for example. If you are conducting a titration in Form 3, you will use a burette to measure those small volumes that are used. And these volumes are exact. So actually, a burette is used to measure exact volumes that we have to use for chemical analysis. The third one is a pipette, and a pipette is used for transferring or measuring small exact quantities of liquids or solution in chemical analysis. Just like in a burette, these solutions are also used in chemical anal analysis. And the similarity between a burette and a pipette is that one, they measure exact quantities of liquids or solutions. And two, they only measure small quantities. So they measure small quantities that are exact.